In today's tech tip, I'll be showing you how to record ProRes video in 4K60 to an SD card on your iPhone 15 Pro. Now, if you've tried to record uh, ProRes video in 4K60, then you might have found out already that you can only do that in HD60 if you have nothing like an SSD or an SD card connected to your iPhone. So you go to ProRes, enable that, and then try to change the resolution to 4K60. You always get that error saying ProRes not supported. Now for most people, you connect on SSD because they normally have Type-C connectors and you can record ProRes videos straight to the SSD. But if you don't have an SSD, you can use an SD card, okay? So let me show you how to connect this SD card to your iPhone. What you need is an SD card reader. If you have an SD card reader with a Type-C connector, then you're in luck. All you have to do is connect the SD card to the reader like that, and then plug the reader directly into the Type-C port of your iPhone 15 Pro. Now, if you don't have this, then you might also need an adapter. So this is an adapter with a Type-C connector on one side and a female full-size USB on the other side. So I can use this one to connect my SD card reader to the iPhone because my SD card reader only has micro USB on one side and a full-size USB on the other side. So let's quickly connect the card reader to the adapter like that. And then now let's plug in the adapter to the iPhone. There you go. Simple as that. Okay. Now, let's first check if the uh, if the memory card has been detected. So to do that, we can go into files and go to the main homepage of files. And you should see our SD card is here. So mine is renamed to Nikon D3200. So that's my SD card. So now I can go into camera. If I want to shoot ProRes video, go to video and then tap on ProRes. Now it's telling me, as you can see here at the bottom, it's going to record to the USB-C device, basically the device that's connected to the USB-C port. Okay, so you can see as USB-C. Um, let's try to record in 4K60. And you can see it accepts now depending on how much time or how much space rather i have in my sd card it's going to tell me the maximum time i can record and for the amount of space i have on my sd card it tells me i can only record for a maximum of six minutes in 4k 60 pro res which is not too bad because i do have stuff in my sd card i should have formatted it before but that's basically the iPhone telling you that you can actually record directly to an SD card, okay, uh, in ProRes. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments and questions down below, and good luck.